Hello and welcome. Today I will be introducing a new feature, Build Notes, that is now available in the Community TFS Build Manager. Um, I've worked with several clients that have implemented both Agile as well as, as, well as the Waterfall process model. Um, and most of the times the release notes have been constructed using the information that is available in the TFS builds, such as work item information, chain set information, but all of this is carried out manually. Well, this makes the process of creating release notes very laborious and mostly error prone as well. Um, lately, I've been working on a feature for the, for the community TFS build manager, which helps you automate much of the release note creation process. And this is what this presentation demo uh, is about today. But before proceeding, a quick round of introduction. My name is Tarun Arora. I'm a Microsoft MVP in Visual Studio ALM. I work with Avanard and I specialize in uh, Visual Studio ALM solutions. So what is build nodes? By extracting the build information from TFS using the TFS API and then feeding that information into a standard word template, I can create build nodes. The uh, build templating part of the solution uh, is handled using the Open uh, XML uh, SDK 2.0. Um, the number one reason for using Word uh, to uh, to generate the build notes too is because uh, that's what most of the companies use uh, to distribute the build notes to vendors or to the configuration te teams or to the QA teams or to the customer. And um, the reason for using the Open XML SDK is that. Uh, when I use the OpenXML SDK to generate the Word document, I can remove the dependency of having to have the um, Word, MS Word installed on the machine where the notes are being generated. Because more often than not, uh, not all the machines where the build notes would be generated would have uh, Word installed on them. Uh, so this uh, OpenXML SDK allows me to break that dependency. Just to show you a, a taste of uh, the level of information we capture in the build notes, Uh, now, as you can see in the screenshot, this seems very similar to uh, uh, what you would probably see on the build summary page uh, upon a build completion. It tells you whether the build has partially succeeded or has completely succeeded or has been stopped. Uh, it gives you information about uh, who triggered the build and what build definition was triggered and uh, what chain set, how long did it run for. Um, what's the log, where's the log, where's the drop location, the latest activity, uh, the chain set details, so on and so forth. So you can see that that same level of information and to some extent even more than this is being captured in the build notes. As you can see in the lower section, not only am I capturing the chain set details, but even the, the crisp details of the files that were included in that chain set as well. And this is just a taste, right? Because as I dive deeper in the demo, you'll see I'm capturing the test results as well as you know, I parse the TRX file so you can actually see the tests that have passed, failed, or you know, didn't run at all. Um, so let's not waste any time and dive deep directly into the demo where I'll demonstrate a quick walkthrough of this feature. I've started the Community TFS Build Manager and I'm selecting the PlayPay team project from my hosted uh, team project collection geeks.tfspreview.com. I click Connect and um, this shows me all the build definitions that are currently configured against this team project. I change the selection to builds and this will show me all the builds that have been uh, completed um, or queued. I select the completed tab and I would like all the builds that have been completed in the last seven days to be displayed. I can see that um, the Hello World uh, main CI 2012-0427.3 build has been partially successful. If I just wanted to have the release notes or build notes uh, generated for this one build, I can right click um, and then from the context menu pick the option experimental build notes. However, I'm not restricted to have the build notes generated for just one um, build. I could select multiple builds, even random builds, and then uh, from across multiple build definitions and right click and say experimental build notes and that will generate the uh, build notes document for me. For now, let's just keep the first option, right click and choose uh, the experimental build notes. I get this uh, options window. Now the whole purpose behind uh, the option uh, window is 
to give you the uh, the ability to reduce the noise in the build nodes for example the QA team might not be interested too much in the build configuration summary uh, whereas the dev team could probably be more interested in the build configuration summary so for sections that you would not like to be included in the build nodes you can mark them off from the selection window but for now let's have all the sections selected and to trigger the generation I will click the generate button there we go um, so I can see the uh, the state that this build has uh, just been partially successful uh, this unlock sign here tells me that it's not set to retain indefinitely. Um, this tells me that you know the build was triggered under the ID of aurora.tarun at hotmail.com. Um, the hello world build definition was triggered and it was triggered manually. The build ran for 44 seconds and it ran on the hosted build controller on the cloud and it completed three days ago. Um, this is the URI of the build. Uh, it was a get on the source version C50. It's not been shelved. Uh, a label has been created against the build. Um, it's not set to a build quality. I know the drop location from here and I can uh, look up the log um, by following this location. Uh, this also tells me that the latest activity on the build has been performed by this user account on this date these many days ago. Um, and you know this section build configuration summary can be really handy if uh, you get stuck with a lot of errors and uh, you just quickly wanted to access the log uh, pertaining to the solution that was uh, compiled uh, against that build. So if you had set the build up for to compile five solutions, you would see five entries here. Um, but currently we don't have any errors or warnings in the build that I did. Uh, the chain set details, there's just been one chain set that has been included as part of this build. Chain set 42, I can see that chain set 42 had uh, these specific changes where it actually added a test project uh, to the solution. Uh, f scrolling down further I can see that there's the work item details section as well uh, which shows me that two work items have been uh, checked in against this build. I know the ID, the title, uh, the work item type, uh, what is the current state and to which iteration is it currently assigned. Uh, the last but not the least, the test results section tells me um, the um, it tells me the total number of tests that were run as well as the pass rate. Uh, it parses the TRX file in the background so you can crisply see that five out of the six tests uh, ran successfully gives me the name of the test. Uh, it also tells me that one test failed and also gives you the reason for the failure so you don't have to download the TRX file to investigate the reason for failure and currently for this build there were no inclu inconclusive tests so um, apart from this you can uh, see that when the build nodes were uh, generated by and uh, whom now the most important thing is that uh, the release nodes uh, release node template can be heavily um, heavily um, uh, edited as per the needs of your company so for example if you wanted to include a logo here or because it's a template you can always do that um, or if you just wanted to reformat the way this information is produced um, then that can also be easily done which I'll be demonstrating in the in the next video um, that's it for now um, you can download the uh, TFS uh, community build manager with the build nodes currently uh, from my SkyDrive link that I've shared here. It will shortly be available on the Visual Studio extension gallery as well. Uh, if you wanted to download the source code, then uh, refer to the uh, CodePlex project. Uh, the link is available here. Uh, if you want to report any bugs or request any uh, feature enhancements, then the link is shared here. Or you can contact me directly as well. And uh, yes, the build notes template is editable and can be configured to the needs of your company. And I'll be demonstrating this in the next uh, video and blog post as well. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. And um, if you'd like to keep in touch, uh, these, this is uh, follow these channels. Uh, thank you once again.